Hello viewers, today I'll show you how to make a very easy no oil recipe called hot sweet and sour pork curry. The inspiration for this dish comes from the northeast of India where pork is widely eaten. Let's have a quick look at the ingredients. We will need 500 grams of good quality boneless pork with some fat on it since it will cook in its own fat as we are not using any oil. We will also need one medium diced red onion, three tablespoons of crushed ginger and garlic, three slit finger chilies, one large diced green capsicum or pepper, 400 grams of canned tomatoes or fresh tomatoes if you don't have any canned, one teaspoon each of red chili, turmeric, cumin powder and half teaspoon of black pepper powder, one tablespoon of palm sugar jaggery, and two teaspoons of tamarind puree. Put a cast iron pot on fire and add the pork, onions, chilies, ginger and garlic, the spice powders, and the tomatoes all together into it. Give them a good stir. Make sure that the pot is on medium flame and mix everything in. Add salt according to your taste. and pour enough water to cover the meat. Let's give it a good mix again. Then cover the pot and let it simmer away on low heat for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes take the lid off and check to see if the pork is nice and tender and it is. Now we will let it simmer without the lid to reduce the water. Keep stirring from time to time to prevent sticking at the bottom. Add the chopped capsicum after the gravy has reduced a bit and cook for another 5 minutes. Stirring occasionally. Then add the tamarind puree into the pot and stir it in well. Now it's time to add the palm sugar jaggery into the pot and give it a mix. This will add sweetness to the dish. As you can see that the gravy has thickened quite a lot and our pork curry is ready to be served. Let's plate up this beautiful pork curry. Garnish with some chopped spring onions. You can serve this versatile, hot, sweet and sour pork curry with rice, pasta, chapatis or even bread. It's a very simple, non-fussy and flavorful pork curry that is very easy to make. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, The Omnivore Indian for more. Enjoy!